you can try actually what you what you said is the following that a subspace a linear subspace of rn is open if and only linear subspace let's say v and only if v is equal to rn okay so all other subspaces are actually a closed subspace so we'll show that closed subset So we'll, 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 we'll show this. We'll see using continuous function that would be easier to show. But you can show directly that that every other subspace. And by the way, there is there is also this thing, a linear subspace P of R n is always closed so it is always true it's a closed subspace sub, sub, subset is always a a closed subset of rn so in open it is it is not true but in closed in the case of closed subset, this statement is true. Right. So you can try to prove this one. And yeah. But we'll show this one using continuous function later on. Now, proposition. The, the following formal is few few properties of open sets and closed sets and arbitrary union of open subsets of rn is an open subset So arbitrary union of open open set is open. So arbitrary union of open set is open. What does it mean? That is, if this u alpha, let's say alpha belongs to some index set, lambda, is a collection of open subsets. then union of u alpha alpha is in lambda is open in rn all right second statement is finite intersection of open subsets of Rn is open in Rn. Yeah, so there is a particular reason why I'm writing this in Rn. Uh, well, of course, for this statement, it is, it is actually in general true. Uh, but sometimes you'll see you open in Rn, closed in Rn, we'll be writing all this. That's because there are other notions, uh, relative notions of openness and closeness. So what does this mean? That is, if U1, U2, Un, or Uk are open subsets in Rn, then intersection of uj j from 1 to k is also open is it clear
third an arbitrary intersection intersection of closed set is a closed set so if if you take such a collection so if you look at such a collection of closed subset and then you look at intersection of the closed subset that will be a closed set four finite uh, sorry a finite union of closed subset a closed sets is closed all right these are these are few uh, properties uh, so how do you prove one arbitrary union of open subsets arbitrary union of open set is open So any element from the union will exist in some u alpha, and there'll be a neighborhood inside u alpha. Right, and that neighborhood will also be in the union. Right. So the proof is very simple. So let we'll take a point x. Let's say x naught lies in the union u alpha. Alpha is in this. This means there exists alpha naught. In the index set, such that x lies x naught lies in u alpha naught. This implies there exists delta greater than zero, such that the ball centered x naught radius delta lies in u alpha naught. This implies this ball x naught delta lies in union of u alpha. Alpha belongs to this. Because u alpha naught is a member, member of this intersection, so this is a member in this intersection. So hence, this is a subset, right? All right. So this implies x naught is an interior point. Did I define interior point? May not, I may, may have not defined yet. So this implies that since x naught was chosen arbitrary, arbitrarily, you have this union u alpha. Alpha is in the index set is open. All right. Second one, so the technique for the second one is quite important, right? Suppose U1, U2, UK are open subsets of Rn to show intersection uj j from 1 to k is open right so let x belongs to intersection j equal to 1 to k uj this implies x belongs to uj for all j so this implies since all uj are open since uj is open there exist delta j such greater than zero such that ball centered at x radius delta j lies in uj next what you do let delta to be minimum of delta 1 
delta 2. This is true for all j. So this is delta k. Now this implies bx delta lies in bx delta j, which lies in uj for all j. This implies bx delta lies in the intersection of uj, j from 1 to k. Again, since x was chosen arbitrarily, intersection uj, j from 1 to k is open. Is the proof clear to everybody? Yeah. So the only point is here. And this is definite. This is a technique. You will several times in the problems or in, in, in situations where you do some mathematics, other subjects as well, you will see taking minimum. So this one is a technique. OK, so the proof of 3 and 4 are exercise. Proof of 3 and 4 exercises. So this is just a use set theory to get into the situations in 1 and 2. And that's where you get it. OK. Any question till now? Yeah, any question till now? Okay, no question. Uh, sir, one thing is not entirely clear to me. Why did we have to restrict ourselves to a finite intersection? We could have chosen any indexing set, right? Like for union. Oh, uh, that you have seen that it's not open, right? Infinite intersection. So let me give an example. So if you want intersection, infinite intersection of open sets, right? So for example, if you consider intersection, let's say intersection of uh, minus 1 over n to 1 over n from 1 to infinity. So what is it? Close zero. This close zero, open one, right? Hey, sorry, open one, yeah? Yeah. Is it correct? Yeah, yeah. Why is it, why, why is zero there? In the intersection? It's a common element of all the sets. Right, zero lies in the, zero lies in all the interval of this form, right? For all n. All right. Yeah, yeah, got it. Now, if you take any say any point outside, I mean, in the left of zero, you will find one over n. So, if you look at, uh, let's say, this is zero, and if you look at any other points, any other point here, you will find an one one by n such that minus one by n lies here, right? So, minus one by n to one would be this one. This is minus 1 over n. But 0 is always there. So this actually, this one. So this implies that arbitrary intersection of open sets may not be be open open right so this is all, not always true that arbitrary intersection of open sets open all right 
So similarly, find a counterexample for closed sets as well here. The fourth one, finite union of closed set is closed. All right. So now let's uh, look at. So how do you how do you know? So so if I say let's take a, a neighborhood of a point, how do you understand it? A neighborhood of point. Yeah. Any open set con uh, containing that point. So everybody agrees with this. Yeah. Well, yeah, you're right. So a neighborhood. So we'll just give it the definition definition. So a neighborhood of a point x is equal to an open set containing x that is the most general definition all right using one might think of that delta neighborhood around that x x well that is true in rn that is true in metric space but if you go more general space you will not that is not true so the more general definition is this one any open set containing the point x all right now uh, well well so you, you know interior point and exterior interior point so let us let us write that interior point. Exterior point. So there is a notion of exterior point also, but it's actually interior point of the complement. So people doesn't use much, but it's good to know. And boundary points. Right. So, so here put let me put the definition. Let A be subset of Rn and X belongs to Rn. Then X is an interior point point of A if there exists a neighborhood Ux of X such that Ux lies in A. X is an exterior point if of A If there exists a neighborhood Ux of X such that Ux lies in the complement of A. All right. So exterior is nothing but the interior point of the complement. So here, exterior point of A is equal to interior point of Rn minus A, a subset of Rn. OK. And a point x is a boundary point. of A if X is neither interior 
nor neither an interior nor an exterior point all right we'll come to the boundary point again but let me define what is called a limit point so what is the limit point of a set in r then we'll give uh, examples of uh, those those points and sets yeah what is the limit uh, definition of limit point in r given any epsilon uh, there is another point of a in the epsilon neighborhood of that point okay given any epsilon then in the neighborhood of neighborhood of there is a point called a limit a. point of a set a uh -huh. if given any epsilon the epsilon neighborhood of that point contains at least another point of a apart from that point mm, right so can you say this is equivalent that any neighborhood of a have any neighborhood of a intersection with the set any neighborhood of what that point small a intersection with the set capital a is an infinite set can i say uh, that the intersection of uh, can you repeat the statement yeah so maybe let me put it in this way so a limit point so if i say x x is in let's say a subset of r uh, is a limit point of a if for every neighborhood ux of x a intersection ux is an infinite set uh, yes we can say this right how do you get infinite to, equivalent to the last definition right so how do you get infinitely point from one point uh, because if there are finite then uh, take the distance of from x uh, take the distance from each of these finite points to x take mm -hmm. the minimum of all these distances and take any epsilon less than the minimum you will get an epsilon ball which does not contain any point so that's right. a contradiction right that is true so this the definition of limit point in rn also true same definition so and and the closer closer of a set a in rn is this a closer uh, well this is equal to let me write in, in the form of equality say closer and this is a union the limit points of a all right so the closer of a set is the set and their the limit and its limit points the union of the set and its limit point all right now let's look at example so we have we have few more definitions here so let's let us let us actually go back to the the soccer ball so example so let's let's look at this set sar so define this set as x is in rn such that d a x is r so what is it it is called the sphere of a uh, with center center at a and radius r all right so is it a closed set first of all excuse me sir one thing in the yeah. previous state statement uh, yeah. it's not necessary that all points of a are 
uh, also in the closure of A because if a point of A is an isolated point, then A yeah. will not be enclosed. Not there in? In the closure of A. Of course, so closure of A is the A union, the limit points. Closure of A is by definition, it's, the, it's this thing. Okay, A union, the limit points of A. If, okay, if, sir. Okay. If it is A is a collection of some finite points, let's say, then there will be no limit points. So a closure will be A. Yes, sir. Uh, I actually, I forgot the definition. So I got the second part right, but not the. Yeah, so A, is, a yes. is, yeah, a is already in the set. So yes. a, any point of A may not be limit point. That is true. Thank you. Sir. Okay. Uh, anyway, so whether the question is whether this is a closed set. It should be. Yeah, why? Uh, the complement will be like the rest of the space. So if you take any point in the remaining space and you take the minimum dis the distance of the point from the closest point on the sphere, you can mm -hmm. find a neighborhood which will be entirely. Uh, how do you know there is a closest point? Sorry? How do you know there is a closest point? Uh, as in the minimum distance from the point in the space to the to the sphere. In this so case, you can case just follow a radial uh, ray. That is true. That is true. So you, what you need to know is is the set. So so what is the complement of this set? Let us look at what what is the complement of this set. Let me take a different color. So R n minus S A R. So what is it? So you have this sphere. Right? So 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 come, this one would have two parts. One is outside, right? And one is inside. This is fine. Yeah? So inside part is just B A R as we defined, right? Ball of radius R, open ball of centered with centered A, a and radius R. And the other part is R N minus B A R closer. Well, here B A closer just by. Uh, you can you can of course go to the closer, but it's actually you can define this to be collection of x in R n such that d x r d x a is less or equal to r. All right. So this is an open ball, right? So this set is this set is open. This is open. All right. And this is this is this is also open, being complement of closed set, right? As you said, the distance you take from uh, from radial line, right? You, you take it take a point as you said, take a point here and go with the radial line, and look at the distance and make it a little bit smaller. Well, yeah, like this. Right. So this part is this part is also opens and being union of two open sets. So this is this is also open. So this is also open. Now union of two open sets is open, and therefore this. Yes. It's R n minus 
S A R is open. So this is a closed set. Now this is this is first thing. Uh, yeah. So first one, what do you get? Let me go back to blue color. This S A R is an open set. Oh, sorry, in, in a closed set. Is a closed set. Set. Yeah. Now, second thing is any point of S A R lies in the boundary of B A R. Right? How do you see it? Yeah, look at the picture. This point is is a boundary point of this one. So what was the definition of boundary point? It is neither a, it, it was neither an interior point nor an exterior point. So which is neither an interior point of the set nor an interior point of the complement. Yeah. So how do you see here? Yeah, how do you see it? How do you imagine it? You just don't, don't give it a reason. Give it a reason. Don't need to give a reason yet. You can just tell how, how you see, how you imagine. I guess any open set containing a point of the sphere will sort of spill over to both the inside and the outside of the sphere, necessarily. That is, that is exactly that is what you need to show. Look at a small look at a neighborhood of any neighborhood of a point in the sphere in this sphere, and what you need to show that the neighborhood will lie will intersect both the interior of the this this both of both this one and this one. All right. So how do you see it? You here, you need to know. You need to look at actually uh, delta neighborhood. Let's look at a boundary point here, and you look at delta neighborhood, right? So how do you how it looks would look like? It, it will look like something like this, right? In the space, if you look at, if you focus, zoom out, zoom in here near a point. So this will be the point. Let's say. And it will look like something like this, right? If you zoom in here. Now, if you look at delta neighborhood, so there will be delta from this side and the, the, the other side also. So here, this the red does not lie in the blue set. This the blue intersects. Or maybe I should do it a little bit better way. So there will be this one, and there will be this. So if you look at any neighborhood, it will be like this. like this right 
it's kind of like like a sphere. Of course, it is, it is not looking as a sphere, but a lot of looking at ball, but you can imagine that one. So it will be like this, something like this, like this, right? Like this. So it will have intersection both inside. It will have intersection both inside, inside part here and outside part here, right? So that's what, that's what you need to show analytically. How do you show it? Hmm? So you'll take a point x in, x naught in S A R, right? Now, if you look at uh, neighborhood, so consider B X naught delta, right? What is it? It's like X in X in Rn such that distance from X naught to X is less than delta, all right? Now you see here uh, the points. You look at look at the line from the center joining A and X. So A and X naught. So look at the line joining. Well, yeah. A and X naught. By the way, what is the line joining this two? How do you see it? Yeah. What is the line joining A and X naught in Rn? Well, you don't need line, fully line, line segment. So what is a line segment? What, what do you, how do you imagine a line segment here? Just a straight line, right? Just, just in case of R3 as you do from, let's say, this is one point, this is one point, you just look at line. All right? Yeah. But what is it actually? So the line segment joining A and X naught is the set. This is the set. Yes. Anybody is speaking? Ah, sir, do you mean uh, the set a, uh, of all points which satisfy a lambda plus uh, one minus lambda x naught? Right. Something similar to that. Something? And what about that? Lambda is a variable that varies between zero and one, I think. Right. So you, you look at, so that is, that is a nice, that is a parameterization, a nice parameterization, and it will always be used. So, if you start from a let's say one minus lambda a plus lambda i'll, I'll go with t so a curve always uh, have parameter t so t x naught collection of all this set this set with zero less or equal to t less or equal to one right you see here you have a here you have x naught and you look at look at the line joining this two line joining this two so at at t equal to one t at t equal to zero you have a and t equal to one uh, or you have this point all right now this this is a line joining x naught and t so this neighborhood this b x delta naught will have intersection with this neighborhood right right so here it is so any neighborhood here will have intersection with this line but this line segment this line segment joining A to X naught 
Well, lies in lies in where? Except t equal to one. This lies in inside, right? How do you prove it? It lies inside. Yeah. Well, let's check. So you have point one minus t a plus t x naught minus a. So what is this? A gets cancelled. T a t t times x naught minus a, which is norm of t a minus x naught, right? So which is mod t. In times norm of a minus x naught, right? If t mod t less than one, then mod of a minus x naught less than r. So that means uh, one minus t a plus t x naught lies in b. A R for all t in zero one. All right, is this fine? So this lies when t not equal to one. This lies inside inside of the sphere. So it intersects this one. Inter this this set intersects this set. Right. So this implies b x x naught delta intersect b x uh, b a r r not equal to empty. And similarly, you can you can see that while well, you you go along a little bit in this line, right along this line, you go a little bit. Right, you increase, you increase t a little more. Right, you increase t a little more here. T let's say zero to two, or zero to one plus delta. So those points will lie outside. Right, so let's say t plus this, 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 this. So you, you, yeah, maybe I should do it a little better. So you look at a line here, joining the point x naught and x naught plus delta by two. This is let's say x naught plus delta by two, right? So this point lies outside. Well, I would I would like like this uh, in this fashion because uh, this would be. Yeah, yeah, that is fine, I guess. That is fine. Hmm. Do I show? No, you you look at this line itself. So look at this line. This is this is along this line. So look at this one minus t a plus. Ah. Uh, T uh, one minus t, let's say x naught plus t x naught plus delta y two. Just look at this thing, right? So it's at at t equal to zero. You have now uh, at t equal to zero, you have x naught, and t equal to one, you have x naught plus delta y two. So you can parameterize between any two points, no? So that actually will help. So this x, this one. Now you you look at, look at the uh, the distance between these two. Well, here uh, even even, I mean it it even even easier is that one. 
the same the easier is this line so you look at this line same line this line but uh, zero less or equal to t less or equal to 1 plus delta by 2 right so t greater than 1 implies 1 minus t a plus t x naught lies rn minus b x b this implies 1 minus t a plus t x naught lies in rn minus b x or b a r a r closer and this is like joining joining you see this uh, from a and and here is is put t equal to 1 plus delta by 2 that is 1 plus delta by 2 x naught right or well, in fact if you if you want here instead of delta delta by 2 you, you write delta by m there is no problem to get it closer to x naught m is large enough so that it lies in the delta neighborhood of x naught Right, so along this line, you go a little bit more, you will you, get outside of the sphere, but it will it will be in delta neighborhood of x naught. Is it clear? Is this fine? Taking taking m large enough and going along the same line. Yeah. So, so exercise, this is very simple exercise, just to B A R closer is B A R union S A R is one, show that, this show that. S A R R all the boundary points of B A R and B A R closer as well. All right. Third, show that. S A R has no interior point in R N. All right. Third thing, fourth thing is S A R closer. Is already we have seen, but uh, did I define or no? Hmm, that's fine. Closer is SAR. All right. Now let, let me state. So we have two minutes. So let me state a proposition. And this is, you know, in R, and this is true in R and also. F is a closed subset of R n, if and only if F closer is equal to F in R n. Right? Do you have proof? Do you know proof of it?
so suppose f is closed this means what r in minus f is open all right now let's let x is in rn right uh, let's say s, s is in rn minus f yeah let's look at that since rn minus f is open there exist delta greater than 0 such that b x delta intersection f is empty right so this implies x is not a limit point of f and since x does not belong to f you already know so x does not belong to f closer so this implies f closer is subset of f all right so you take a point outside it doesn't be outside f and it does not belong to f closer so all the points of f closer has to be inside f and that implies f closer is equal to f because f is a subset of f closer all right and what about the other side suppose f closer is equal to f right somebody have already given the proof in the very beginning so you need to show that to show r n minus f is open right now let's let x belongs to r n minus f so this implies so this implies x belongs to r n minus f closer so this implies there exist a neighborhood u x of x in r n such that u x intersection f is finite set like x one x two x n right now now prove this an exercise here that u x minus x one x two x n is also an open set set so b call it b so prove it so this is this is an exercise so now once you know this one then this implies uh, v intersection f is is empty so this implies v lies in r in minus f so this implies uh, yeah this implies x is an interior point of r in minus f and since x is chosen arbitrarily r n minus f is open this implies f is closed yeah any question i'm sorry four minutes late yeah any question here Sir. Yeah. Sir, in uh, I could not understand one of the steps in above slides. Can you go up above? Which one? This this proof? No, no. Before that. This when, one? Uh, even before. This? For the uh, when we were proving the 
for the sphere. Okay, for the sphere. This one? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so which one? This, this, this part is here? Okay, the norm of the uh, A minus X naught is less than R. I could not understand why. No, the norm of A minus X naught is equal to R, right? Yes. Because because x naught lies where x naught is in this say. okay okay both of them should be negative so should be this norm of distance is just norm right in this yes. case we are looking at uh, look at the standard distance so this is equal to r now you see here uh, here this part norm of this part is equal to r so you can i did a step jump so this is mod p times r right now this one if mod t is less than 1 in our case t is in 0 to t lies in 0 to 1 strictly less than 1 then this is less than r right because then this will be less than r oh sorry this sorry this this is this is you are you are correct so this is t times this. I forgot to mention. Yeah, t times this. Thanks. This t times this is less than r. So that means this one is this lies in the sphere for all t here. Is this is this fine now? Yes. Okay. Any other question? Okay, so if you have any questions, other questions uh, while reading, you can send me an email all the time whenever you, you need. So, yeah, okay then. Okay then, see you uh, on Tuesday.